You know that feeling when you've had too much coffee and no water and you're super dehydrated and really groggy? That's kind of where I'm at. Hey fam, welcome back to the Kelly Eden channel. I think I'm gonna do a DIY today. I don't really, I've never done this before. So disclaimer, I've never done this before. I just woke up super inspired to do this. I have my Super Nintendo Entertainment System here also known as the SNES. And I'm getting ready to do a still life painting and it's gonna have all of the stuff that I had as a kid in the 90s. And one of them is the Super Nintendo, but I wanted my entire color theme to be pastel as everything is. And this is not, this is the original one that I had as a kid from like what, 1993. It's very discolored. It's, it's a little like, you know, yellowing. It, it needs to be cleaned up. I was getting ready to go buy paints and stuff like that. And that's what I wanted to do today. But upon further inspection, I realized that the SNES has a very specific type of screw in the back, which I do not have. And I can order it on Amazon, but it won't be here until Friday. And I don't want to wait that long. So I was looking up tutorials online and there was a guy who was showing how to like make your own screw just using a pen and a lighter. So I don't know if you can see where I'm going with this. So basically what you're supposed to be able to do is heat up the end of the pen with the lighter and then you press it in against the screw and it's supposed to make an imprint and then you can use that to screw everything off. I don't really have much faith that this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot because this is what I wanted to do today and I don't want to put my plans aside. Trying to get it just enough to where it's melty. I'm gonna go into one of these shallow guys. I'm just gonna press and wait for that to dry. I hope that's deep enough. This does not seem like a good method. I mean, kind of? Oh, it actually works? Wait, no way. No way! It's fucking doing it! I, okay, I am very impressed. This is a great DIY today. Wow, I am very, very impressed. I think these ones are just really in there. Yeah, they're not coming up. Let's try the other one. Okay, well that method worked on two of the little screws, but the four main ones that are actually holding the console together, it didn't work on. I think those screws are a little tight, so I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and just bite the bullet and buy the entire set and just play it safe. Um, it looks like they have like a, a full toolkit here. I don't know if this is what I need right here. It looks like this is a good one to buy. It has tweezers, it has a bunch of different screws. It has like a little brush and things like that. So, all right, wait, when is this gonna get here? It better be here by Friday. $13. All right, so it's on its way. It says it'll be here tomorrow. So the least that I can do is I can go to Blick Art Supply and pick up the colors. All right, fam, <laughs> we got behind the flowers. We have a rare Rick craft. I tried to do a Steve Irwin, but then I was like, it's been so long and I forgot how he does things. You gotta be way more excited yeah. than Australian, yeah. He's a beauty. Look yeah. at him taking apart this SNES system. <laughs> <laughs> you need notice. Today we are taking apart my Super Nintendo and uh, we are going to paint it. So Rick <laughs> is going to, to help us do that. Also the um, the second controller slot like hasn't been working. So maybe when we unwire it, we can, or give it the old, give it the old fashioned fix. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. So this did thing. we already dust it off? It's, it's pretty clean on the it's inside. This thing comes out though. Oh, oh. So, just so we know. Okay, yeah. but what's this thing for? But I think that's important. Right? Yeah. Okay. And this, I think this will come out if we just tilt it and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, so I need a teeny tiny little screwdriver to get these little bad boys open. Keep putting screws in there. So do you really need this thing out? <laughs> I don't think so. Can you just paint? Because it's just this piece. Yeah. So yeah. I could probably just paint that with regular paint as long as I'm careful. Mm -hmm. I think I want it to be pink and purple. The buttons? Are they, I mean, are they the right color? Or are you going to paint those too? No, I think I need to paint these too. So it looks like I need to probably paint these, the buttons first, mm -hmm. and then the rest of it. Right? Yeah, because it's going to slide, right? Yeah. So I'll take this out and just spray the buttons real fast. Where do you want to go? Town? Where do you want to go? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> okay, step one. Do not wear clothing that you do not want to have ruined. <laughs> Here's what we got. We got three 
No, we have more than three. We have two different brands of spray paint. Uh, these are more expensive. They're about $7. I got them at Blick Art Supply. And then these you can get at Home Depot. Here we go. Give it a little test. So you want to just like dust it from far away. You don't want to get up close because it's going to drip and be gross. So you just want to dust it real, real nice. I'm trying to get the edges. So let that dry. What's next, Rick? I guess we wait for that to dry. Should we bring everything out here and just stand and work? Yeah, we got a perfectly good table. Yeah, a perfectly good table with no leg. Uh, yeah, let's bring it out. So I wish that you guys could smell Kelly's house right now because she burnt the f out of something right in this area. Boy, you in trouble. He's, I can't, he's never done that before. He crossed the street and everything. I am so disappointed. I can't even believe the betrayal from you. What do you have to say for yourself? I left my camera outside. This camera? Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, I got it. Luckily, this purple dries pretty fast. And then, should I just flip this over and just paint the back, or do you think I need to tape some stuff? Uh oh. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I don't know if I would paint that thing. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, I think I see why the second controller wasn't working. It's, it's like missing, look, it's like missing that piece right there. All right, so we're going to let everything dry and we're going to go grab a slice of pizza at a place that Rick says it's pretty cool. It just opened. Pretty cool. It and just uh, it's an arcade. Yes, it's called Game Over Pizza. So we're also yeah. scouting to see if this would, would be a really cool place to do a shoot because I have a ton of latex. So we're going to see if a guy is there and if the guy is cool and if he'll let us shoot there. And, you know, either way, have, have a glass of pizza and a slice of beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, they have their own little like 80s sign. This seems so cool. This, oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, what time are you open? Five, bro. Five? Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. What we're doing is we're trying to keep the circle purple and then the rest of it's gonna be pink. I mean, we can go right into the groove though. Yeah. It's can. perfect. I mean, I have one teeny tiny fuck up. Look at that. See it? Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see if these work the same. That's fucking sick! We'll do this. but there we go. <laughs> All right, so this is the only way we could think of doing the button that is still connected to everything. Yeah, you remember earlier I said there was a 70% chance that it would turn back on? Yeah. Are you raising that percentage? I'm gonna give it to an 80 now that we're not taking this apart. Wait, it's an 80% that it will turn back on, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. not the super <laughs> negative one. Okay, you're raising it to an 80, that's great. Yeah. This is the main part you were worried about? No, but it makes me feel better. Why, because I pushed let me it just, down? Let me just gap check it. Let me see. Nice. Instead of fact check, it's yeah. gap check. <laughs> That's looking pretty good though. Oh, oh, you did it again. <laughs> Fingerprint. Nice, nice painting, nice painting. Fingerprint. Fingerprint. <laughs> Fingerprint. I'm getting like more fingerprints. <laughs> we are debating on if we should paint this part another color, which I think we should. So I do have this like more 90s pink. I don't know, or- I don't know if that's gonna make that much difference. Yeah, so we should do the blue, right? Correcto. What do you yeah. think? The blue here, blue here, or should it just be the slot? It should be this whole upper part, right? 
Are you thinking it's easier? <laughs> it's easier just to tape this off yeah. and do the whole upper part. Yeah. Teal? Is that what's doing? Yeah. Shit, this is gonna be tough because it's curved. What if you just tape it <laughs> straight across and then like, like the bottom or straight across? Yeah, just straight across there, because like then it will at least cover that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe it just goes in a straight line like there. What do you think? Like below? Oh, like it continues down? Like yeah, if it just makes a straight that. line like right across there. Yeah? You care if you paint that thing? Nah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put a fingerprint on it? Not yet. <laughs> don't worry, you will. Everything <laughs> 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 else is looking pretty good. It's taking a while to dry. Yeah. Were, were you ready for the, the touch test? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do like an indiscreet spot for when it leaves a print. I mean, it feels okay. I would say it just needs a couple more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 And then this looks pretty good to go. This one's pretty solid. So sick. Yeah, boy. can and I sprayed just a little uh, amount into this cup so I'm just doing tiny little touch-ups of like where my fingerprints are or where the tape lifted up or where ooh, that is not fun to breathe in and it is making my eyes sour someone has like a bird or a parakeet or something and it whistles like like you know that whistle that you do at a lady like no, I respect women. I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I started walking Toshi in the morning and I started hearing that, I was like, who the fuck? Like every morning and I was so tripped out about it. And the more I listened to it, I was like, that's not a human. That's a bird. That's the end of the story. <laughs> okay. Phase one complete. Tiny little touch-ups to do, but it looks fucking cool. Come on, I can't, I can't. Oh, that's so cool! Should I do a purple circle or just leave it? It would look better with a purple circle. Yeah. Finishing touches. Finishing touches. This is how you do a little bow. So I just... Well, hold up. First... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we're hella dangerous in here. Look, look. Oh, got yeah, this. We got everything in here. We can put your got gun away, all the Rick. sharps. <laughs> my gun away. It takes a couple times for you to, like, get it toy enough. So now I need this. Got to trim the edges, make a little darling. So this was your original console from when you were a kid? Yes, uh, me and my brother got it for Christmas. Like I said, I think it says on here 1991, so that has to be it. And our grandfather got it for us. So we still have our, all of our old original games with the original save files and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Look how cute. It looks so good, I'm so happy. All right, and we gotta do the final placement and see if it works. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Kelly's bunk bed set up. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> what is this thing? Didn't I tell you I found that in Japan? <clears throat> what, who is it though? Um, they, 
Is it's it just, just some random dude? It's just some random guy. Like the shop, when you go in, like it's just merch of that guy. And so the story is they just like took a photo from the yearbook of like some kid they knew and just made merch of him. So there's like bags, barrettes, wow. t-shirts, pajamas, like all of this one dude. I kind of love it. Ooh, it looks good. It looks perfect in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not turning on. It's not? No, but look. Wait, it did something though to the TV. Did it? Oh, it's on. Yo. Oh, shit, it still works. <laughs> 